Thanks very much. Um, I'm Louis Lipper. I'm a developer on the Confluence core platform and APIs team. This quarter, we've been working hard to extend the capabilities of Connect inside of Confluence. But today, I'm here to talk to you about something slightly different. As a software developer, there's one thing that I hate more than anything in the world, and that is boring, repetitive tasks. Doing something over and over again is a surefire way for me to just fall asleep. It turns out this isn't just a software developer thing. The Canadian government has our back. They say boring or repetitive tasks can intensify feelings of fatigue. Well, da. Thankfully, I know someone who absolutely loves those boring and repetitive tasks. And that person is Atlassian Connect. As software developers, we're in the unique position where we can genuinely take the tedious, repetitive tasks that we hate doing, and we can give them to computers. That's where a Connect solution tailored to your business comes in. Let's take a look at an example. Signs by Charlie. Signs by Charlie are your local print and signage shop, where you go to get posters or signs printed. For this presentation, we're going to look into their workflows, starting with the old way, what they did before Atlassian Connect. Then I'm going to talk you through how you can create a bespoke add-on using Atlassian Connect to improve that process. Then we're going to take a step back and take a look at the new way, what the customer sees of the new process. Let's start with the old way. Like many companies in the world today, Signs by Charlie's original process started with an email. First, a customer had to email a design. Eventually, the worker needs to receive that email and then download the design. Once it's eventually downloaded, the worker has to get up from their desk and find a free printer. Then they have to go back to their desk and send their design to the printer and wait. I don't know about you, but this process has already got me feeling impatient, and we're not even halfway through. But let's keep going. Eventually, the printer finishes printing, and the worker has to find the customer's details their name and address, so they can make a label and package and attach the label to the printed items and finally send it. Now, I'm not sure about you, but as a software developer, going through that makes me feel twitchy. I don't want to work at this company. We haven't covered all of the steps either. We still need to make an, make an invoice and send a confirmation back to the customer. This is a slow, repetitive, extremely annoying process. Let's look at how we can create a bespoke add-on to improve this. Well, how can we do this? When I look at Signs by Charlie's processes, I see a lot of individual steps that look a lot like the features in our products. Let's take a look at these three products here. Jira Service Desk, Confluence, and HipChat. What do you think of when you see these products? For me, when I see Jira Service Desk, I see an intuitive, easy-to-use customer portal that someone with little or no technical knowledge can use to create pieces of work that are transitioned and then completed. This looks to me a lot like our process, where we have a customer who sends a design, which is then printed, and then needs to be delivered. So let's use Jira Service Desk instead of email to accomplish that task. Next, we have Confluence. Confluence is where we create content. What content is relevant to this situation? Invoices. So let's use Confluence to create invoices for our customers. Finally, there's HipChat. HipChat brings teams together 
So let's use it to tell our workers when things need to be done. Now, before I get into the prototype that I've made for Science by Charlie, I'll just tell you a little bit about Connect Add-on architecture. Now, I know that many of you will have probably already been to many other talks where this has been described, so I'll keep this light. But for some of you who are still on server and might not be so familiar, I'll just give you a quick rundown. So unlike existing server plugins, in Connect, your add-on needs to run on a service that you either host yourself or you host on some kind of cloud infrastructure. It then communicates with our cloud instances through our REST APIs and SPIs. For the prototype that I made, I used something called Atlassian Connect Express, or ACE. Atlassian Connect Express is a toolkit for creating Atlassian Connect-based add-ons with Node.js. It simplifies the registration and deregistration of your add-on to our cloud instances and simplifies, the J and simplifies the use of JWT tokens, which are used by your add-on to authenticate when calling our APIs. It also works very well with the new Atlassian Connect dev loop. One thing to keep in mind is at the moment, most of our templates do assume that you're working within just one product. When you're communicating with multiple products at once, there are a few more hoops you need to jump through. In the prototype I'm about to show you, I was able to use a single add-on to communicate with both Jira and Confluence. But if your add-on needs to use product-specific modules, you may need to break it up into multiple add-ons. So back to Charlie's science. Using Atlassian Connect, I created three pieces of software. First, there's a listener. The listener is a combined Jira and Confluence add-on that listens to webhooks in Jira and fires off events in the other parts of our add-ons and Confluence. Then there's the alerter. We use the alerter to send HipChat notifications. And then there's a piece of printing software. The printing software is a bridge between our listener and Signs by Charlie's proprietary printers. Let's take a closer look at the listener. The listener's job starts off when a user creates an issue through the Jira Service Desk customer portal. When that happens, the create issue webhook is called, and our add-on receives that call, and we can then use the Confluence Create Content API to make an invoice in Confluence. Next, we can use the Jira Issue API to download the attachments from that issue. In this case, the attachments are the designs that the customer wants to, do, wants to be printed. Once we have those files, we can send them to the printing software, and then we can transition the Jira ticket, once again using the Jira Issue API, so that we can let the customers know that we're processing their order. Eventually, we use the alerter to tell one of our workers that uh, Stuff needs to be, that printed items need to be picked up. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at the alerter. The alerter has two jobs. As I've just said, when a printer finishes printing an item, we need to send our, one of our workers a notification saying this is ready to be picked up and sent. Secondly, it needs to listen, uh, it needs to listen for the worker so that the worker can send a confirmation so that we can transition a ticket to done once they have sent an item. Finally, there's the printing software, which interfaces with custom printer API uh, to print the designs. It also has to listen to events, like started printing and finished printing, which it can relay on to our listener. So I've given you kind of a bit of an overview of a slightly more technical side of what happens. But things don't really become clear until we take a step back and see what the customer sees for this whole process. So let's take a look at the new way, what the customer sees. The customer sees the Jira Service Desk customer portal. They create an issue there, a request to print either printers or signs. Once that happens, we automatically create a Confluence invoice. Then we transition the ticket. Everything that the user might need to see is on the Jira service test ticket. 
we can tell them when their items begin printing, and we can tell them when their items have finished printing. Once we get to the awaiting delivery stage, is when our worker comes in. What's left for them? Well, they need to be sent a notification. Now, wherever they are, or whatever tedious task they're waiting on, they'll get one. Posters are over here, and a label with the customer's address is over here. From now on, their job is extremely easy. All they need to do is package, label, and send. We have taken a process that looks something like this, and we have turned it into this. Awesome. In the future, uh, yeah, and, and then we can tell the customer that their item is in delivery once we've passed it to the courier company, company. In the future, we may even be able to integrate with the courier company's API so that we can tell the customer that their goods have actually been delivered all from within the service desk portal. So why did we need to do this? Why couldn't we just download an add-on from the Connect marketplace to accomplish our needs? And the reason is, is that an internal add-on like this takes your customer's workflows and it turns them into automated processes. The workflows for Science by Charlie are going to be different from the workflows for other kinds of businesses. And secondly, automated, pro automated processes will often have to interact with proprietary systems. In the case of Science by Charlie, their systems are their printers. They have poster printers and sign printers, and each of these needs custom logic to work properly. I don't want you to go away from this talk thinking about how you can create a great automated system for a print shop. I want you to take a step back and think about how you can apply these ideas to other businesses. Let's take a look at some other workflows that you could create. Your workflow doesn't need to be overly complicated. It doesn't need to be interacting with a complex proprietary printer system. It could be as simple as something like creating Confluence specification pages from a JIRA ticket. You could take the description of the ticket and some comments, and you could turn that into a specification page, or a decision page, or any other kind of documentation that you might need. On the other hand, your, your workflow could be as complicated as the world. You could be running Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Do you think his Oompa Loompas keep track of all that chocolate? No, he uses Jira. Back in the real world, you can also use Atlassian Connect to transition Jira tickets and publish new documentation when you release new software. Internally, we use it for our shippets. Our three monthly hackathons, where we create things within 24 hours. We actually released that plugin. That's the Atlassian Hackathon plugin on the marketplace. So this, I think this is where Atlassian really wins in cloud. When you're designing an Atlassian Connect solution for your business, your toolkit is limitless. Whatever your client or whatever you want to automate, it's more than likely that there'll be a web service for the job. Unlike serverland, the internet and the web as we know it today has endless public APIs just waiting for you to take advantage of them. Before I leave you, how many Atlassian experts do we have in the crowd? Awesome. I'd like to take this moment to focus on you in particular. Internal, add internal Connect add-ons represent a huge opportunity for you in terms of what you can provide as part of an Atlassian solution that you sell. If, a cust if one of your customers has a specific workflow coded into their Atlassian suite, they'll be a customer for life. Thanks very much.